matter what mode of transportation you take, there are always emergency procedures in place to help ensure the safety of the passengers. As a passenger on any vehicle, it is extremely important that you make yourself aware of what to do when the unexpected happens. It not only will help ensure your own safety, but the safety of those you are traveling with as well. Being prepared is being smart, so it's time to make sure you know your school bus evacuation procedures. This person's reckless driving represents only one of many potential hazards that a school bus may encounter on the road. That's why you should know how to evacuate a bus quickly, calmly and safely. By preparing for the worst, you'll already have an action plan and you'll know what to do. There are three primary ways of evacuating a bus. The method you use will depend on the nature of the emergency. This will always be the bus driver's decision, but in a real emergency, he or she might not be able to help, and then you'll have to decide. The students occupying the seats closest to the doors will play a key role. Helper number one sits in the aisle seat closest to the front door next to the driver. Helpers two and three sit in the aisle seats closest to the rear emergency door. These positions remain the same regardless of the type of evacuation to be used. The first type is a front door evacuation. This method is usually used when there is little or no danger, or if the bus breaks down or gets a flat tire. Helper number two will control the order in which the students evacuate the bus, starting from the rear, alternating sides. Helper number one will stand at the bottom assisting students as they exit the bus and directing them to a safe area. Helper number three will be the first to evacuate the bus and will take charge of the students at the safe area. A front door evacuation is the safest method used primarily when time is not a factor and there is no immediate danger. A rear door evacuation should only be used when a front door evacuation is not practical or possible. You will always be evacuating away from the danger. Because of potential danger at the front of the bus, the students at the front will be the first to be evacuated. A front end collision, for example, may cause the front door to become inoperable, or there may be a fire or smoke located at the front of the bus. Helpers 2 and 3 will get off the bus first. Helper number 1 will control the order in which students evacuate the bus, starting at the front and again alternating sides. Exiting the rear of the bus is a little more difficult because of the distance to the ground. Helpers 2 and 3 will stand facing each other and assist students down to the ground. When exiting the bus, crouch down to lessen the distance to the ground and avoid bumping your head. Crouch with your fist forward just like a skier and the helpers will support your weight as you're assisted to the ground. Follow your helpers directions and proceed in a single file to the designated safe area. Split evacuation is a combination of both the front and rear methods 
with each starting at the middle of the bus and both exits being used simultaneously. This is an unlikely situation, but it does represent an example of when evacuation must occur as quickly as possible. The front half of the bus will exit using the front door, while the back half will exit using the rear emergency door. In order to accomplish this efficiently, two additional helpers will be required. Meet helpers number 4 and 5. They sit on opposite sides at the center of the bus. Helper number 4 will control the order in which the students in the front half evacuate the bus, starting at the middle and working towards the front, alternating sides. Helper number 1 will stand at the bottom, assisting students as they exit the bus and directing them to a safe area. Meanwhile, helper number 5 will control the order in which the students in the rear half evacuate the bus starting at the middle and working towards the rear, alternating sides. Helpers 2 and 3 will stand facing each other and assist students to the ground. Although the split evacuation is the fastest method, it's also the most complex, so practice here is especially important. In the event that none of the three methods can be used to evacuate the bus, most likely due to both the front door and the rear emergency exit being obstructed or inoperable, there are two other means to evacuate the bus. These methods are only to be used as a last resort. The first is the emergency window exit. An emergency window exit can be found on both sides of the bus. Each of these exits has a lever which must be pulled to release the lock on the window. The second is the roof emergency exit. The roof emergency exit has a lever which must be turned in order to release the lock. Let's quickly review each of the evacuation methods. The front evacuation starts at the rear of the bus, alternating between sides. The rear evacuation starts at the front of the bus, again alternating sides. The split evacuation starts in the middle of the bus, working towards the ends. As a last resort, you can use the emergency window exit or the roof exit to evacuate the bus. Proceed single file to the safe area and remember once you're off the bus, beware of traffic and other potential hazards. In all evacuation methods, the last person off the bus, usually the bus driver, will check the bus to make sure everyone's out. Practice drills are of course the best way to prepare for school bus emergencies, but you can also mentally rehearse what you do in a real emergency. Next time you're on the bus, try a little mental role playing. What would you do if the bus had to be evacuated? Which evacuation method would you use? Which exit are you most likely to use? Where are you sitting? Where are the helpers sitting? Whichever method is used, there are several rules to ensure a safe and efficient evacuation. Remain calm. Be quiet. Walk, don't run. Leave any belongings behind. You can get them later. And finally, the bus driver is in charge. Listen to and carefully follow his or her instructions. You can help make your bus ride a safe one. Practice your bus evacuation procedures and know what to do, because after all, it's always smart to be prepared.